hey loves welcome back and if this is your first time on my channel welcome grab your visas and passports in this video i'll be crossing the border to go to target i learned a thing or two and i'll definitely be sharing some information to help your shopping trip go smoothly and today's video has been brought to you by a mixture of FOMO, which is the fear of missing out, and a little bit of peer pressure. And I say peer pressure because I've been minding my business as per usual, and the algorithm is constantly showing me Target Shop With Me videos, or like, you know those cute hiking hauls? <laughs> like YouTube. I am living in Canada, within the greater Toronto area to be exact, where there isn't a single Target in sight. But hey, I do have a passport which I don't mind using. Anyways, there are some rules that you should be aware of when crossing the Canadian border. For example, as per Canada.ca, the Canadian border officials collect duties and taxes on all goods imported to Canada. This means that if you're crossing the border with items you've purchased in the US, you gotta claim them and you may be subject to duties and taxes. I'm just trying to keep it real with you guys and manage expectations. And this is not to be taken as any kind of legal advice. Bear in mind, when returning to Canada with goods purchased in the US, you may qualify for a personal exemption. So this personal exemption allows you to bring goods of a certain value into Canada without paying regular duty and taxes. And this is for items that are for personal consumption. First things first, as of March 2024, there are no personal exemptions for same-day cross-border shoppers. However, if you are absent for 24 hours or more, you can claim goods up to $200 without paying any kind of duties and taxes. And if you're absent for 48 hours or more, you can claim goods up to $800 without paying any duties and taxes. Of course, more details and more information regarding all of this can be found on the governmentofcanada.ca. Just a heads up, this video was a bit impromptu. You know, I was crossing the border and decided to stop by Target, so I wasn't that prepared. That said, I'd recommend you be intentional about your consumption and make a shopping list. help myself have a little bit of self-control, I have this basket. Whatever can fit in this basket is what I'll be taking home with me. Target. I don't know what I should buy first. Um, I'm passing the clothing section and I'm probably gonna go to the home goods section because that's probably my favorite department in here. I'm going to have a fill day in this department. And one thing that I really like about Target is that they do the girl math for you. For example, just for example, here's a candle. This candle costs 16 bucks, okay? However, if you do the girl math, the price per pound is only $5.46. So, are we really spending $16 on this candle? Okay, so these are pretty cool. They have candles that, I guess, represent different personalities. Okay, my favorite is probably 
the extrovert. It has punchy notes of citrus reminding you of that one party with all your friends. It really is. Artsy was also really nice blend. So I'll probably go home with extrovert. Let's place her down here. I never realized that buying pillows was this complicated because they have pillows for stomach sleepers, back sleepers, and side sleepers. You know, I toss and turn in my sleep, which means I'm a side sleeper, stomach sleeper, and a back sleeper. <laughs> I don't know which pillow to get. I usually just choose the ones that are available, but now I have so many options that I don't know which one I want or need. Okay, this one isn't as, you know, I can't really squish it down. You know what? I don't think that I like pillows like this. I'm gonna pass. That was extra firm. This one, this one is just firm and it's ideal for back and side sleepers. Okay. Let me test it. So far, I have like this little formula I've been using. And it's like I squish down the pillow. And I can kind of tell if this is reminiscent of the pillows I like or the pillows I don't like. So let's see if it passes the test. No, God, please, no! This one needs to be broken in. Do I want to do that? I don't know. I don't know. This pillow is already broken in. Yeah, I'm keeping this one. Let me get two of these actually. Thank you. Perfect. Since I'm getting some pillows, might as well get some new sheets too, right? I'm not going overboard. I'm just, you know, it's that time of the year. I'd probably buy this at home. This is not a shopping spree. We're not getting out of control. We're buying things that we need. This one's a bit tricky because it says it has like cotton sateen in it, but then it says it's 100% cotton. I just want cotton. I don't want cotton mixed with any other fibers. So I'm gonna pass on this. Ooh, temperature balancing sheets. Okay, what kind of material is this? Mm. I know it. says 71% cotton and it has mixes of polyester. Hey. I'm a pass. I'm a pass. It's like I'm trying to give these people my money, but they don't want it. Storage. Okay. Do we need any storage? Cute. It's like 
a metal closet. I like it. Do I need it? Do I need it? I don't think that I need it, but like, if someone else needs it, listen, Target's got you. If you need a freestanding metal closet kit, here's one right here, next aisle. We don't have this at home, or I haven't seen this at home yet. Hydrating Foaming Oil Cleanser. Wow. Cleanses without leaving skin barrier feeling tight or disrupting the skin barrier. Okay. So, you know what? I'm sold. Gotta get it. I would get this, but we have this at home, just so. Okay, no sense in getting that. This is forever sold out at home, so. Collagen peptide. I can never get you at home. They're always sold out. Definitely coming home with me tonight. I have so many hair products, but you can never have too much. Ooh, silk blowout. Wow. It has hydrolyzed silk quinoa. Ooh, and it cuts blow drying time. Okay. What else is in it? Not too many ingredients. I'm reading the ingredients like I know how to read ingredients. But yeah, this is what's in it. It's coming home with me because I haven't seen this one before. So, you foreign, <laughs> you coming home. I actually ran out of cotton swabs and I'm not making two stops. So I might as well just get you. Might as well. The black girl section. Hold up, wait. TGIN conditioner on sale on clearance for eleven nineteen. That's definitely less than the twenty something dollars I pay for it. Back home, we're going home with me. We love a sale. Mixed chicks, thirteen ninety nine. So we do not have these at home. We do not. And it's only for what? $7.99. On Amazon, it's for like 30 bucks. So by force, we're going home with one of these. This one's my favorite one. The vitamin C. If you know, you know. And if you don't, now you do. I don't know why, but I just felt a bit embarrassed packing my blue reusable Walmart bags in Target. So let's just skip that part. The rest of my stay in Buffalo was pretty good. Despite the many options, I absolutely had to eat at the Olive Garden simply because we don't have one in Canada and I enjoyed every bit of it.
I was also dragged to the casino, but you know, a time was had. Shout out to my 37 subscribers. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Mwah. Thank you.